everybody. Welcome to another episode of Invicta Specs. I'll be your tour guide, John the Phone Guy here, and we have got the Bolt Hercules. This is in the silver rose tone with the platinum mother of pearl. This is the version that has the interchangeable uh, bracelet and three uh, different colored straps, and we'll go into all of that here in just a bit. But with that, let's uh, head over to the bench and take a look. Hey everybody, here we have the Bolt Hercules. Uh, this is the interchangeable system. Uh, it comes with the bracelet and then these three interchangeable straps, the white, the gray, and the blue. This is model 33863 and it is a 53.5 millimeter uh, flame fusion crystal. Uh, you got the platinum mother of pearl. Uh, water resistance is 20 atmospheres, 200 meters, 660 feet. This is running the Ronda Z60 chronograph. It takes the 395 battery, about four year battery life, and has a standard deviation of minus 10 to plus 20 seconds a month. So with that, let's kind of take a look at this thing. And it is uh, a real beauty for sure. Uh, of course, you know, I'm, I, I love the uh, Platinum Mother of Pearl and all of that. And you can see all the different details. Of course, you know, we'll go to the back here. You got all the reserve, uh, scissor class, and the two-tone on here in the rose gold is uh, really awesome. And the Nemean Lion and all the details. Of course, you've kind of got this uh, Thunderbolt-esque uh, crown and function pusher. And, you know, everything is uh, screwed down. For the water resistance and we can start this and we'll start the chronograph right here this is your 30 minute uh, chronograph piece constant running seconds day of the week here so we'll stop and reset and spin those guys back down and of course you know you pull this out and you would change date right there pull it out again change time you know that sort of stuff so all of that is there and of course screw down and we've got this uh, chain system and you've got the bezel unidirectional and all of that and then you've got all this laurel relief on this nine o'clock side and you've got some of the, the chain element here and here. And you got some more laurel and all of that. Of course, there's a reserve badging and everything. Super cool. Of course, we have the release system right here um, that shows the uh, how you would change out the straps and the bracelet. So you, if I, so this little button, so I'm going to squeeze right here. And then that slides off and then we'll swing this around and of course that slides off so we have all of this here and so we can kind of take a look and you get the uh, the Nemean lion and all the details that go with that and you can see how how raised up and everything the relief is um, which just uh, beautifully done, I must say. You know, you can almost just see like the little whiskers and the mouth and all that. It's just kind of crazy. All the little details that you can see, and we'll uh, we'll see that in the microscope. And uh, with that, since I've got you know this off, let me uh, set this guy down right here, and uh, let's head over to the microscope and take a look. All right, and here we are with the Hercules underneath the scope, and of course you can see with the uh, the dial material the the mother of pearl in the center of this and we kind of just get some color shifting here and all of that of course we have our constant running seconds over here like we normally do we've got our um, other part of the um, tenth of a second on the um, stopwatch the chronograph is here day of the week over here 
and then we've got this uh, chain that goes along with it and we can kind of really get to see some of the detail of the chain. I'm going to try and move this thing around so we can kind of really see some of the the detail of all this chain work and then you know we've got the uh, rose tone on the uh, crown and function pushers and the laurel around the edge and you can see just just in the details of the different finishing you know from the satin to the high polish and then this is uh, set in with the numbers and the black uh, just you know and of course you know your high polish and then you know a little little black dot in there and of course you know get to the laurel on the side here there we go so you can kind of see that whole laurel wreath um, I did take the uh, bracelet off obviously to uh, show this here and uh, you can really see the uh, the pin system. Let me get it refocused here. So as you can see, I'm going to try and so you, you pull you push in on those, and that's what brings your pins in to uh, change everything. And of course, we want to uh, show the uh, the Nemean lion and all of the detail that goes along with it. And of course you can see you know the bolt and Victor Hercules and all the little details like just some of the I mean just how crazy Let me zoom in a little bit here and see what we can really pick up here so just really cool all of that just little subtle details in the hair and the mane and you can see the eye and just everything about it is just really awesome uh, I love when they do these uh, intricate case backs because, you know, unless you take your watch off and show it to someone, only you really notice it. But it's a very unique, um, you know, and this is obviously three dimensional. I mean, this isn't just a, you know, as you can see, this is all raised up, you know, carving along with this, you know, roping that goes along and all of that. So just a, uh, and overall, it took me a while to kind of warm up to this watch, I'll be honest. Um, but now that I've have, I have this one and some of the details, especially the silver and the, uh, the rose on the cable, and of course this mother of pearl is uh, beautiful in that platinum. And, you know, with that you can kind of see, you know, this little almost like cloud-like structures and everything. Just really beautiful. And like right there you can almost see... Sorry, right there you can almost see some of the natural material, the the lines in the actual um, mother of pearl itself, and there's like like a little dent right in there and a line right across here. You know, it's just to me that that's just the uniqueness of each of these pieces because every piece is going to be slightly different. Uh, they're all going to have those kind of characteristics, but none of them are going to have it in the exact same place and all of that. I just love all this detail that's on here and and all of that. Must have a piece of plastic on there. My apologies. Thought I got everything. There we go. And just, you know, all things together. Of course, let me uh we'll open this thing up real quick and we'll run the chronograph. And uh and of course, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> this is the chronograph sweep hand here, and then this is your 30 minute indicator timer down here, not tenth of a second. I was thinking of a different movement, so my apologies. But obviously, stop, and then we're going to reset and all of that, and we'll spin these back down again. But uh, got ahead of myself. But all in all, again, you know, just some of the detail of how all of this bracelet work is all interlaced within each out itself and the way that it, you know, works around the uh, bezel is just very beautiful. Um, but with that, let's uh, let me get this thing straightened up. Let's head back to the bench and finish this guy out. All right, so here we are back from the microscope and... Uh, so let's go and I'll show you how all this works. So we'll work with the gray right here. So this is the buckle end. So buckle 
goes this way. Now what you can see is, you know, because this is rubber and everything, you know, with the bracelet, you can just slide this on, but I would say not do that. Even though you've got the notches, you're going to wear this out. So I would, I would suggest just squeezing this, getting it in place, and then just letting it lock in, you know, naturally. And you kind of feel it. So you can see, you know, so that's going to be with the, uh, the gray, all right? So that gives it a whole different kind of look. And uh, I think the one that's probably the, the most unique of all of these is the, the white. It's, uh, you know, it just kind of pops. So, and I, I have seen this uh, system right here. I, uh, the Sabakwanoma 4 used it back in the day. But, you know, take a look at that with the white and everything. That is just amazing uh, the way it looks. So, super, super cool and all of that. But, uh, we'll uh, take this off. Put these guys back here and put this back in and I did this without really looking at where I'm going I think I got it right there we go okay so now that we've got that Let's uh, put some measurements on this thing. So here on the outside, I get 53.8, but you can kind of see that's more of the the bracelet. I mean the the bezel. So let me catch it right here on the actual case. So on the case. It measures more like a, a traditional 50. So I would say on the case itself it's a 50 but this adds a little bit of thickness uh, on the on the height we got 19 one uh, I'm gonna go right off of here so 30 call it 33 four uh, obviously it's gonna taper down to a 25 eight the links on this are 3.8 and the span I'm gonna go right off of this edge right here where the where it changes so I get 47.5 now with that let's bring in the strap so the strap uh, measures down at 26.2 and the thickness is 4.1 so that's the strap part of it so let's bring in the scales let me set these guys off to the side here so we're gonna weigh this so let me do this I'm going to uh, so we're in grams now this is 299 in grams and then with the straps so we'll just set a strap on there we get 247 with that so then let's go over to ounces So 10.5 with the bracelet, 8.7 with the strap. So there's your, your weight differences with all of that. And uh, so let's put it up here. Put this back together. Like I say, this is a pretty nice system. I, I, I like the way this one, this all works together. There we go. And of course I put it on backwards because so I wasn't paying attention. Okay. 
and there we have it and that's it on my wrist seven inch it's a little snug but not too bad of course you've got that right there um, so all together I mean I think it's a, a very unique watch and like I say at first I was not a big fan of these but I've really grown accustomed and really like the design that this has but uh, let's set this thing here and do a few shout outs and I'll give a shout out to Smitten by Invicta on Instagram, uh, Invicta Watches and Women's Fashion, and of course, uh, YouTube Sensations, Trap Vision 3D, and the Lifestyle page, talking about all things collecting and family, and of course, Tommy Big Time, uh, focusing on uh, bracelet sizing and battery changes and everything Invicta. Of course, Meet and I, uh, journaling there weight loss surgery and entrepreneurship and of course uh, D&Q uh, chronicling travel and food and fun. Tony Wo, uh, Christian rapper and his music and life perspective. And of course uh, I want to give a shout out to Unboxed Sneaks. Uh, has a great uh, show illustrating uh, men's um, sneakers and the uh, lifestyle and fashion that goes with it and we have dc world's channel uh focusing on life experiences marriage parenting health family and all the things that go with that and of course uh, i want to give a big shout out to uh, facebook uh, invicta vets and their website invictavets.com uh, where they have merchandise and the proceeds they use to uh, help support uh, veterans so but with that, uh, let's jump out and finish out the video. See you in a second. All right there. So we have the Bolt Hercules with the interchangeable straps and have the bracelet back on, obviously. Um, and uh, I want to say thank you to everyone for watching, subscribing, commenting, and all of that. It really does mean a lot, and I appreciate it. If you haven't, just hit that little subscribe down there. And uh, with that, I say Enjoy your Invicta timepieces, and I hope to see you next time on Invicta Specs. Take care.